Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about Windows 11's new confusing calendar layout, where we get this new split view with no reference to the current month being September. And if we head back, we jump straight to August, we head forward, no September, and then we get the beginnings of October, which can get quite confusing as mentioned. Now, I posted a video yesterday, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen, showing you a simple fix and an easy solution to rectify this issue. And although it is a simple fix, it wasn't optimum for me because it involves lowering the display scale, which makes things a little bit harder to see, especially if you battle with vision impairments and so on. But check the video out for more info. Now, it has come to my attention once again in the comments by a viewer of this channel, that there's something else that you can try, which to me is actually a much better fix, which I'm going to show you in this video. So this is basically a part two of that video. Both work, but I think this one is better. Now, if we head back to the calendar fly out, you can see that Windows 11 has added and Microsoft has added the new larger clock with seconds in recent updates, which you may well know and as I've been posting on. So because of this, it takes a so-called line out of the calendar because there's only so much space in this calendar flyout, which now causes this to look like this. But you will also notice that I have the two world clocks, additional clocks set up. So even if you have the new larger clock with seconds in the flyout and you don't have these world clocks. Your calendar will still have the full calendar layout, not the split. But because I have the world clocks, that's why it's the new split view. And just on a side note, turning off do not disturb does not rectify the issue and nor does disabling the new larger clock with seconds. The only so-called way to fix this problem is to remove the world clocks. So just to show you how we do that, I'm going to right click Head to Adjust Date and Time. And on the, this uh, Date and Time page, here we're going to see Show Time and Date in the System Tray. Just click on that. And we head to the Additional Clock 1. We click on the three dotted menu, Reset, Additional Clock 2, Reset. That removes them. If we head back, you will see now it hasn't changed, but if you click on it again or a couple of times, there's my September month, the whole calendar and the full calendar layout is back. If I head, there's August. If I head forward, there's September. If I head forward, there's October. So that to me is a much better solution. Now, just on another side note, I do prefer the world clocks yeah, showing in my calendar. So unfortunately, I will still have to see the split view because I do prefer the world clocks um, in my calendar fly out, as you may well know. But if you don't, that's a much better solution. You don't have to adjust the display scale. And this just works, as mentioned, pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel, which I'm always in favor of. So I can pass it on to the rest of you and put it out there to a wider audience. And if you want to put everything back, we just head back. We reverse the steps. You click on change, click on change, click on change. Once again, head back. And if we click on that again, there's everything back to normal, but unfortunately the split view is back, but I'm just going to have to so-called suck it up because I prefer the world clock. So although it's not ideal, um, it's going to work as a plan B, so to speak. So that's how you can, so that's how you can revert the process, which I think is a better method. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.